Laura. Mm-hmm. I'm 37 years old, so my friends are 36, 38, 40. Mm-hmm. And I've had many of them speak about uh, unicorns. <laughs> Mythical creatures that don't exist. Another one I was like, imagine I'm going to you, at least you don't have to look for his number. His name is Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you can talk to him every night, but True. no one has those specs. Mm. Unajua the way you're looking for a car that can fly mm-hmm. but can still go in the sea but can also turn into a submarine mm-hmm. that there's nothing like that that exists. It's mm-hmm. just but in your imagination. Mm-hmm. And then the dudes are not exempt from this. Yeah. I've also met guys, even some we work with who want a chick who cooks like the mom. She's not a freak in the streets. <laughs> She's a freak in the sheets. She has a masters because his family oh my dad both my parents are doctors but, but she must also be of child bearing age mm-hmm. and have to, it's like sometimes you see those job ads yeah. you're looking for a 21 year old with two degrees and 15 years experience and they are 21 <laughs> so they started learning when they were thought in their parents heads you know reality versus illusion laura yes. where do you draw the line at these high standards tall dark handsome rich mm-hmm. nice low abiding citizen with a big nene where wallet and you know so where where do you draw the line <laughs> so there's this illusion that high value men exist for every woman they don't so they do exist they do exist unicorns do exist really but they're just not for everyone i found our patient ah. <laughs> even like for me i i have my own certain standards but i will i'll never punish a person because they can't meet those standards ah. i'm not going to pick and choose you know a uh, you match half the standards because you usually start with tall dark handsome yes and then you assume because this exists all the other things that go will fall in line fall in line so i don't punish people because they can't meet my standards i just separate myself from that situation and just keep staying alone where do you draw the line uh, i think you draw the line when disrespect comes into the question when you have to punish another person for things that only you require only you have created in your mind that you've never seen anywhere else or you've seen on social media and by the case in point mm-hmm. you know she's yeah. shown us oh there's this handsome guy cuz rapido is handsome who Very does all looking. these things who does all these and a few months down the line it's over we've broken up there's nothing else left there i think you should really check your values first what's most important if it is the money yeah. please know the demographic you're looking at is between 60 and 90 and make peace with that <laughs> If you're looking for someone to go and catch a wine with Fanny Westland. I love Laura. <laughs> so if you're saying that demographic you're tafutaing is between 60 and yeah, 90, because who has a uh, six figure uh, income monthly? Mm. Who they owns a be, home? They might be six to for a few more months until you know they bend over backwards, I mean forward, Where? you know because you know age. Before he replaces. Yeah, because in all reality, even if we fight it, because I know people will still want to argue. Yeah. Men between 30 and 50 are chasing girls who are 21 to max 24 actually 18 to 25 mm-hmm. if you watch anything that Andrew Kibbe posts or what not these things they speak about a lot or anyone in the manosphere so if you are still my age and you're fighting for the 35 year old boys with subarus going to naivasha first, her age is 27 by the way let yeah. me just put it out there she's still a very young girl i'm still very young but the reality is out there like men want younger women so if you're still ch- and even for men Because there's a lot of double standards, right? Mm. These women are better when they're older. Women are better when they're younger. She don't need pesa. And if that's your real, <laughs> real problem, please know your boyfriend will look like you know, nylon in my car, pahali. You know when you pack nylons in a bag and then you remove them? They're so it's wrinkled. It's all wrinkled and shriveled. Yeah, chances they have two marriages behind their backs, four kids, you know, somewhere hiding, one neglected, a string three. of women. Yeah, there'll always be an imbalance. You just have to make peace with the imbalance you get. But to create an ideal person that you are not even, it's crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Are you uh, were you even ready for this conversation <laughs> here? Huh? We're speaking of high standards and where to draw the line and this cuts across the genders by the mm-hmm. way because there are men who have these delusions because i call them delusions i just believe that everyone will have you see like the yin yin yang yes. like the sign yes. it has black there's nothing that's absolutely good uh, exactly. and there's nothing that's infinitely and absolutely evil mm-hmm. i believe there's some small little darkness in the light yep. and i believe there's also some little light in the dark mm. but to say that you're going to find this six foot 
tall, dark-skinned brother who's parking in everywhere that counts, uh, but is also nice and charming and at the right age. Right. And he has his manners, comes from a good family, you know, the proper pedigree. Mm. And please, <laughs> when you find him, do do nini. what that Jesus is going to come and do trumpeta trumpeta. Just do the blow that horn so we come and see it too. I'm not saying uh, throw your standards away. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying reality. Yeah, reality. Come back we're to all, reality. We're all trying to make it to some level, right? Take so, that list, put mm, it on the side. Yeah. And but it, it, for me, the issue comes in high standards and want to draw the line. Draw the line by exposing men. You know, a woman will come with a think piece of, I will never date a man who doesn't. Mm -hmm. No one asked you to. You're mm -hmm. the one who showed up for the date. You were the one who's disappointed. Just take your L and move on. Yo. You know? That's why I draw the line. I when you like start shaming people. I feel like playing for you. Like you need a song, Laura. Why? Because I'm always bitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying you're a bitter, Betty. I'm saying like you need a song. Like one to dance to. Like one to... To and shake it off, yeah? yeah, yeah the yeah. bad juju. It's a meat tenderizer. Mm. You know, just I play you a song. Go ahead. Then we come back. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm, I'm even not single, but I feel some type of way. I mean, it's the reality. Like even it took me a while to realize that I haven't achieved half the things that I thought I would have mm. at this age. So while I'm dating, if the most important thing for me is me, I, I, I will never, if you're out there and you're watching me, I will never not, I will never date a man who's not a provider because for me, I have anxiety around money and providing for my basic needs. So first things first, I don't care if you're 110, yeah. Put it, judge me if you must. Yeah. 150 so plus. broke guys, waka wapi? It's okay. Not broke. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even addressing you. <laughs> See, you're not in the chat. You yeah, need like, to get and it has nothing against you. <laughs> the leak message. You know, it's, it's nothing against them. It's just what I need. You understand? It's true. It's, it's just true. what I need. It's but I'll never walk around and be like, oh my God, you're 30. Stay away. You, you, you're giving me brokenness. You're yeah. Why? True. Steer clear. Hi. Bye. Thank you. I'm not interested. But to go online and shame people, that's why I drew the line. Why? Are you ready for this? Con Were you ready for this conversation? <laughs> so 